Yay! Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm John Reisinger. Should you be able to repair your own video game console? You bought it, right? Do mm -hmm. you have the right to crack it open and tinker around with what's inside? And if your console breaks, do you have the right to take it down the street to your good old local repair shop? It's uh, That's been there the for years, you know, owned by a nice little elderly couple. Um, that they're not affiliated with Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft. Yeah, so console makers, they're saying no to all those things. Oh. And they're now actively fighting against legislation in a number of states that would make it easier for gamers to fix their own consoles or send them to an independent repair shop as opposed to contacting Microsoft and having them send you the coffin and then you put your poor console and you send it away and hope you get it back in a reasonable amount of time. Now from console maker's point of view, fixing your own console is too complicated and potentially dangerous, and it would make hacking easier. But from the perspective of some gamers and third party repair shops, it's a question of simple fairness. What's the danger? They don't want you hacking them. That's what it comes okay. down to. They don't want in, they, I, the, really this comes down to modding consoles. Console makers don't want you to be able to mod them, and if you can open them up, then you might mod. Like you could just trip and accidentally mod the whole thing. Yeah, that would totally happen with me. I'm a genius. So this story, it's a story that raises a question that you might not like the answer to. How much of that gaming console do you actually own? And if something goes wrong, do you have options as far as who you send it to be repaired? So first off, let's ask a question. Well, we've already asked a lot of questions, but let's ask another one. What do you do when your system breaks? Swear a lot. You call a company. If you, let's say, again, going back to Microsoft, you got the red ring of death yeah. on the, the 360. What's the advice from the company? You say, they say, send it to us, we'll take care of it. Or send it to one of our authorized repair shops. And sometimes the fix is free, sometimes they might charge you for a refurbished device. But in any case, the message is clear. We, the console maker, are the only ones who can crack this thing open. And of course, there's always that famous warning, if you open your console, you are voiding your warranty. Recently though, Vice reports that some states are considering legislation that would require console manufacturers to sell replacement parts and tools to independent companies and consumers at the same price they're sold to authorized centers. The legislation would also require console makers to make diagnostic manuals public, as well as software tools to fix consoles. These are known as right to repair bills, and we're seeing them in New York, Minnesota, Wyoming, Tennessee, Kansas, Massachusetts, and Illinois. Come on, Texas, where are you? <sighs> but it looks like ground zero for this kind of bill is in Nebraska. And needless to say, the gaming industry, they don't like this one bit. The Entertainment Software Association, which represents game manufacturers and other trade groups, have written the bill's sponsor in Nebraska and said that it would threaten consumer safety and security and that it mandates the disclosure of protected proprietary information, according to Vice. Yeah, it's really endangering people's safety. They said safety again. Wait, what are these things? Are they trapped? Are they booby trapped? Is I there... think they're probably just worried about are... stupid consumers like opening it and then immediately sticking a fork in it. <laughs> yes, then in that case it would hurt. But if it's unplugged, you can stick a fork in a lot of parts of it and you'd be fine probably. We'll do that in the next video. Basically, manufacturers argue that repairing a console yourself is unsafe. So, yeah, because it causes, and it causes cybersecurity problems and it could lead to the stealing of intellectual property. Yeah. The safe thing is really a problem. <laughs> It's not that unsafe. Okay. Uh, smartphones, computers, servers, and other devices are constantly at risk from hackers, and any weakening of those standards, such as sharing sensitive diagnostic tools, will increase risks to consumers. The letter to Nebraska State Senator Lydia Brash states. Of course, consoles get already hacked all the time. The Wii and the DS were famous for having pretty active homebrew communities around their devices, but it's pretty obvious why console makers don't like them. It's because they don't see a penny of that money, and let's be honest, hacking a console can lead to piracy. Well, I mean, they see, they see the investment of the actual console, but yeah. then they can't sell you a bunch of software because a lot of those people will just download it all for free. Yeah. Uh, but this is hardly an issue that's just about video game. Another huge company is also 100% against you fixing its devices, Apple. Apple doesn't even have a network of authorized dealers to fix your busted iPhone like console makers do. Nope. You have to make a Genius Bar appointment and you wait for a service technician and it's a miserable experience. I can confirm. Um, but the so-called right to repair bills would affect Apple products too, and possibly to a larger degree than video game companies, because unlike them, Apple has never authorized an independent company to fix its iPhones, even though a bunch of companies still do. Yeah, all those kiosks in the mall mm -hmm. that will fix your screen and somehow manage to break your wireless connectivity at the same time. Yep. No, that hasn't happened to me personally. <laughs> 
This issue doesn't just affect iPhones and video game consoles, though. It goes beyond that. Lots of products ranging from cars to refrigerators to cameras have all had issues where companies want to lock down replacement parts and diagnostic systems, basically making the same arguments that video game companies do. Yeah, they don't want you uh, hacking your refrigerator. That's bad. I'm gonna make it make coffee. <laughs> Lawmakers say that those restrictions create an unfair repair monopoly. The New York uh, Right to Repair Bill states that these limited authorized channels result in inflated high repair prices and high overturn of electronic items. Another concern is the large amount of electronic waste created by the inability to affordably repair broken electronics. Yeah, the laws are modeled after a 2012 law in Massachusetts that made automobile manufacturers give independent repair shops the same information they did for authorized dealer shops. Advocates like Repair.org, which represents independent repair companies hope that if one of the bills pass, that it'll be duplicated around the U.S. or that console makers will drop their opposition. Right, well at that point you have precedent. Mm -hmm. uh, Gay Gordon Byrne, executive director of the group, told Vice, every one of our members is in the repair business. It's very grassroots. Most repair businesses are very small and it's not hard to prove that. Yeah, you don't see a lot of just like Walmart repair shops, like the mega repair place. Not really, they're all like Easy fix. Like if you sneeze, you'll fix it, you'll miss them. Um, Vice contacted Microsoft, Sony, and Apple for responses. All either declined or didn't respond to requests. Yeah, what do you think of this issue? Should you be allowed to fix your own console? After all, you bought it, or should you be able to send it into an independent repair shop to fix it? Let us know in the comments. And for all your gaming hardware news, whether or not it breaks, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the know. We'll try and break it as much as possible for you. Watch out for booby traps. A letter to Nebraska State Senator Lydia Brash. 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 Welcome to the Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm fixing my underwear when you said that. That's a tear. What? Okay. Let's read the news. Are they fixed? <laughs> are, they, are they fixed yet? Yeah, they're good. I was just oh. pulling it out of my.